Hello, welcome to your Vietnam visa channel where you can get the most up-to-date information about the Vietnam visa policy. I'm Kim Dong, a visa consultant. Today, this video, I'm going to talk about the most important things you need to know before you're applying for Vietnam e-visa. So this visa allows the citizen from the 80 countries on the Vietnam e-visa list can enter and stay in Vietnam within 30 days. So stay tuned. <music> First, it's very important to check whether or not the country is eligible for Vietnam e visa because not every citizen is permitted to obtain an e visa. So I'm gonna post a list of the country whose citizen can apply for e visa in the description box of the video. But before you get started to submit your e visa application, just make sure that what documents are required to get a visa issue. So here a general list of documents you're gonna need to have with you when you submit your e visa application. The first document is the copy of the passport with a valid at least six months since you're entering into Vietnam. And the next thing is the portrait photo in JPEG file with a white or plain background. Uh, you can take a portrait photo with a smartphone. Just make sure that the pictures must to be clear and bright. And the last thing is a valid international debit or credit card to pay for e-visa fee. After you got everything prepared, you're gonna ask where you should submit your visa application. So there are tons of websites on the internet saying that they provide the Vietnam visa service. But actually, you can apply for e-visa by yourself on the Vietnam Immigration website. So we're gonna put the office link for e-visa application in the description box of the video. So I highly, highly recommend you to log your e-visa application at least 10 days before the departure date to Vietnam. The sooner is the better, just in case you got any mistake with the visa, you still have any time to fix it. While submitting your visa application, the immigration system will be generating a registration code. So please screenshot and save it for checking your visa status later. After three to five working days, just visit the Vietnam immigration website and put on your visa uh, your registration code, your data bus, and your email address to check and download the e-visa. So if three working days pass and your e-visa is still not available yet, you can contact the immigration to your visa support tab on the website or you want to get uh, your e-visa process uh, faster, you can contact a visa or travel agent to help you. To get any visa, you just need to pay 25 US dollars per applicant for normal service. However, no matter how uh, your e-visa will be easy or not, no matter your visa is right or wrong, the visa fee will be not refunded. So your e-visa will be valid for 30 days with single entries. It actually means that your visa validity will be valid or start from the entry date and ends on the exit date provided on the e-visa. So currently, it's impossible to extend your e-visa. So if you want to stay more than 30 days in Vietnam, you need to go out of the country, apply for a new one to come back. Please kindly note that e-visa is accepted at the 33 international checkpoints in Vietnam. However, it's just only allowed to enter through the entry port as approved on the e-visa. If you want to change the entry port, you have to apply for a new one. So upon the arrival into Vietnam, you need to submit your original passport and your printed e-visa to immigration officer before entering Vietnam. So please keep in mind that your e-visa is not only required to sell at the Vietnam airport, but also when you do check in uh, at the airport for the flight, even the first flight. So that's all about the essential things you need to know about the Vietnam e-visa. So I hope you have a much stronger understanding the very aspect of Vietnam e-visa, including who is eligible, requirements and the process. So subscribe our channel if uh, the information or the content is useful to you. And if you have any lingering question, just leave it in the comments. So I'm going to answer all of the questions soon. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.